Ever wanted to control Arduino with a smartphone? Now it's really easy with Blink. Just open the app, choose from dozens of widgets, and in 5 minutes you'll be able to blink LEDs, control servos, and get sensor data straight on your smartphone. And yes, from anywhere. Hi Kickstarter, I'm Pasha, the founder of Blink. I've been designing web and mobile interfaces for almost 10 years. As many of you, I'm a maker and I absolutely love Arduino. We live in an exciting time of enormous do-it-yourself possibilities. Thanks to Arduino and the likes, anyone can be a maker and can get all kinds of ingredients for their projects. Today you don't even have to buy some of the components as you already have them in your smartphone. Flash touchscreen for control and display, sensors like GPS, accelerometer and more. But if you ever tried to tie a smartphone to Arduino, you know that it just sucks. You have to buy crappy apps, read through pages of documentation, and even learn new programming languages. But does it really have to be like this in the Internet of Things era? We believe that every maker, whether newbie or pro, should be able to hook up their Arduino project to a smartphone in less than five minutes. That's why we've designed Blink. Our platform has three components – apps for iPhone and Android, a server that handles all the authentication and communication, and libraries for the key hardware. Let me show you how it all works together. Here I have an Arduino Uno with an Ethernet shield. Pin 8 is connected to relay module, which turns the bulb on and off. Let's switch it on with an iPhone. This is my dashboard. Here I can add widgets from the widget box. For this example, I need a button. You can place widgets anywhere, they also come in different sizes. Each widget has its own settings. A name? I'll call it a bulb. I want this button to act as a switch. Now I need to choose a pin which controls relay, it's number 8. We will need an authentication token to connect to Arduino. It will be sent to your email address. Handy, right? Now opening Blink sketch in Arduino IDE. Paste token from email and uploading to the board. We are done with the setup, let's run it. Switching it on and off. Switching it on. It works! Wait, did I say five? No, it was actually less than a minute. Blink will have lots of cool widgets and features. New makers will enjoy the intuitive interface while pros can fully customize the dashboard to support the most complex projects. There are so many things you can do with Blink. Just imagine, your plant gets thirsty and you immediately get a notification on your phone. You approach the house and your phone's GPS triggers the lights inside. With Blink and Arduino, setting this up will be a piece of cake. So you can focus on building great stuff. Our small team has been putting its best effort to get Blink from an idea to reality, enjoying the creation ride and seeing some awesome results. We already have working app prototypes and have started building the Blink server and library. We need your help to complete the development and ensure excellent performance of the platform. Make your pledge today, and in a few months Blink will be live for iOS and Android, working with Arduino and Raspberry Pi. And then you will decide which hardware gets supported next. Together, we can help makers build amazing projects faster and easier by completely taking the smartphone integration task off their shoulders. Let's make it happen!